Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your bro, hope you're doing well, and in this video I'm going to explain how multi-level inheritance works in Python, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. If you wouldn't mind, please like, comment, and subscribe. One like equals one prayer for the YouTube algorithm. Alright, welcome back everybody. Let's talk about multi-level inheritance. This is a concept where a derived class, also known as a child class, inherits from another derived class. Here's an example. Let's say we have a hierarchy of classes. There will be three levels to this. We'll create a family tree of living organisms. So at the very top, we're going to have a class called organism. Any class that inherits from the organism parent class will receive one attribute, one variable named alive. And this will be set to true. So if you are an organism, you begin by being alive. Now let's say we have a child class that will inherit from the organism parent class. Let's say animal. Class animal inherits from organism. So any animal that we create will have this alive attribute set to true. And all animals eat. So let's define a function that does that. At least I believe all animals eat. Let's pretend that they do. So this animal is eating. And now, why stop there? Let's create a class for a specific type of animal. I like dogs, so let's create a dog class. Class dog inherits from the animal class. And all dogs should be able to bark, so let's create a function to do that. And we'll print, this dog is barking. Okay, so what we just did here is multi-level inheritance. We had a derived child class inherit from another child class. So it's kind of like this dog class is the child, animal class is the parent, and then the parent of the parent class would be like a grandparent, right? And then if you added another layer on top of that to this hierarchy, well then the parent of the grandparent would be like a great grandparent. That's how I think of it at least. Now let's create a dog object just to verify that everything's working. So let's call our dog, dog, and our dog object should have access to an attribute named alive and our dog object receives that attribute from the organism class. And this will print true if I were to print whatever this attribute contains. And our dog should be able to eat because it receives this method from the animal parent class. And lastly, our dog should be able to bark and that method is defined within its own class. So that's how multi-level inheritance works. It's a concept where a child class will inherit from another child class I like to think of it like a family tree, where a child class will have a parent, and the parent of that parent would be like a grandparent, basically. So if you would like a copy of this code, I will post all of this to the comment section down below. But yeah, that is how multi-level inheritance works in Python.